This week, the biggest free trade agreement in the history of mankind was finalized. It is called the Trans-Pacific Partnership. It is also the greatest and most important economic event in the past 20 years. This event, the Trans-Pacific Partnership, or TPP for short, will change history. It will have a huge impact on the economic future of countries in Europe, both within the EU and outside the European Union. Countries with a large export-import component, countries who dep which depend on international trade, such as Macedonia, will be especially affected. The TPP is an agreement which incorporates 12 countries, 12 very important countries, including the United States, Australia, Canada, Japan, Malaysia, Singapore, and many others. These countries comprise 40% <coughs> of global GDP, that's 40% of the world economy, and 35% of international trade, for a total of 28 trillion US dollars. That is trillion, 1,000 billion, 28,000 billion US dollars now go into this agreement. What does the agreement do? First of all, 18,000 tariffs on goods and services will be lowered or abolished in the next few years. There is a common framework for managing intellectual property, such as industrial patents or medicines. There, are, there is a new framework for labor and environmental standards. And a mechanism is established for disputes between individual investors and the state that they invest in. It's a crucial, crucial agreement. It undermines, actually, the Uruguay round of negotiations regarding international trade, which took place 20 years ago and culminated with the establishment of the World Trade Organization. The TPP undermines the WTO, undermines the regime of international trade, by fragmenting international trade into trading blocks. From now on, the world will be divided between huge groups of countries doing business among themselves and not with other blocs. Most importantly, the TPP excludes, does not include, China, which is the second largest economy in the world, and the EU, which put together is the biggest trading partner in the world. These two are excluded from the PTT. Now, what will China do? China will join Russia, Central Asia, and Africa, probably, to establish its own trading bloc. Latin America is already covered by free trade agreements with the United States. The EU, the European Union, is left out in the cold. It will, have, it will face unfair competition in Asian markets. Countries including in the, included in the PTT will pay lower tariffs than countries in the European Union exporting to Asia. Gradually, European exports to Asia will go down and down and down as American exports to Asia, Canadian exports to Asia, Australian exports to Asia will go up and up and up because of lower tariffs. You can say, so what? Well, 40 to 70 percent of European Union gross domestic product is dependent on exports. Most European Union members are very big exporters. Remember Germany, for instance. 40 to 70 percent of GDP of Europe compared to 13, one three, 13 percent of the GDP of the United States. In other words, the United States is not dependent on exports. It is dependent on its own domestic internal market. The European Union is dependent on exports. Any gradual diminishment in exports, any reduction in exports because of the TPP, will cause mass stagnation in the economies of Europe, which will lead inevitably to social unrest, the fragmentation and disintegration of the European Union. What's 
Macedonia to do. Macedonia is a very small country. Unfortunately, most of its exports go to the European Union. It is heavily dependent on European Union welfare, European Union future, and European Union economic benefits. What Macedonia should do, it must diversify away from the European Union. It must open new export markets in Asia, the Middle East, Africa, and even remote places like North America and Australia. European Union is being excluded from the international trading system. It is facing massive internal problems, non-optimal currency zone, social unrest, mass immigration. It is not the best partner for Macedonia's economic future. Macedonia, especially after the TPP, should look elsewhere.